What's going on, Joe community? For those that are already subscribed, welcome back to the channel. For those that are not, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Today, we are going to be opening up the Chilling Rain Elite Trainer Boxes that I have not yet opened up uh, because, I don't know, man, uh, I've seen the pull rates on them have not been wonderful, uh, so I've kind of been a little hesitant uh, to open those boxes because, as you guys can tell, I do collect Elite Trainer Boxes, uh, so I much prefer to keep them sealed and keep the mystery of them for the future, uh, but we're going to pop them, we're going to pop them, excuse me, not bop them. Bop. Let's go ahead and get to it. All right, everybody. So I already took everything out of the ETBs just to save some time. On the right hand side, we have the Ice Rider Calyrex, and on the left hand side, we have the Shadow Rider Calyrex. Uh, so for the question of the giveaway, it's going to be: What is your favorite of the two, Ice Rider Calyrex or Shadow Rider Calyrex? So for those that have not seen an ETB opening. Uh, and that are, are new to the channel. I'm going to go through basically what you see in an ETB in an elite trainer box. We have eight packs in this standard elite trainer box. We do come, it comes with a player guide, and in here it actually shows every card of the set. So you can see if you're completing a master set, uh, you know, you can just go ahead and check off each of these cards, as you can see right there. Uh, it comes with some dice, comes with uh, damage coins, if I'm not mistaken. That's what these are called. I'm not too familiar with the TCG itself. Uh, I just like the collecting aspect of it. It comes with dividers, so, you know, for decks. It comes with energy cards. It comes with a code card that is for all of you. And it comes with sleeves. So that's everything that comes in an Elite Trainer Box. Without further ado, let's get right into the packs. Um, I'm going to start with Shadow Rider. So I'm going to start with the left packs. Let me put all this back. I'm going to start with these right here. Only because that is uh, not my favorite. <laughs> uh, we are still chasing. Uh, I'm going to put the chase card on screen here. We are still chasing the Articuno uh, alternate art. So there you go, is the code card. Uh, one, two, three, four, and let's jump right into it. So we still are chasing that card. Uh, it's funny, from the beginning of when this set actually came out, it was like an $80 card at one point, $70. We got a Bound Suite and a Spirit Tomb. Um, but now it's actually like 30 bucks. So that bodes well for the future of uh, the next couple sets that are going to be coming out because I have a strong feeling that uh, the, you know, the sets are going to plummet a little bit uh, in regards to the singles, which is great, uh, you know, for, it's great for some people, not so great for others. Uh, I say it's great because I can collect the cards that I love, along with a lot of other people that just like collecting singles, uh, alternate arts and stuff like that. So we got a Porygon Z and a Malamar. Um, it's not so great for those that are on the investing side. I understand that because you do want your cards to uphold value. But I do say Pokemon has never really been... An investing game, at least in my opinion. Um, you know, yeah, we have the gold stars and we have all that stuff, but it's never really been a thought of as a, you know, get rich quick type of thing. Whereas with sports cards, it's a completely different animal, man. Like if you get a Justin Herbert si signature card numbered, uh, you know, you're in the money. So we got a Blitzel and we got a Beedrill Hollow. Nice. I actually needed this uh, for my master set that I'm working on. Uh, so that's great. I will take that. All right, so that's our first white code, guys. That is our first white code out of eight packs that we have in the Shadow Rider um, Elite Trainer Box. So that's the code card for you. Let's see if we have some luck, man. Oh, my goodness. What is that, dude? Look at the top of this card. Oh, this is an alternate art. Nah, I'm just kidding. Every alternate art that I've seen being pulled, at least from my friends, has been, like, like crazy damaged. So we'll see how these alternate arts are uh, in regards to grading, because if you're grading these cards, good luck. Galarian Moltres V. So there we go. We got a Galarian Moltres V. It is a hit, technically. So let me sleeve that up. Let me get a sleeve. Where are they at? Right here. All right. All right. We got it. Boom. Galarian Moltres V for our first hit of the night. Let's go into our next pack. I think we're at the halfway point. I think that was four packs already. So this is our fifth pack. Boom. Code card for you. One, two, three, four. So yeah, guys, have you enjoyed opening uh, Chilling Pain? Um, or have you not enjoyed opening Chilling Pain? <laughs> let me know in the comments down below, Haunter and Gallade. Uh, not the Pokemon Haunter and Gallade. Like, you guys don't let me know. People, individuals, let me know if you like this set or not. Uh, or are you waiting off until, you know, Evolving Skies comes out, uh, which I will be opening next week. So keep an eye out for that. Oh, man, the quality control on these cards is terrible. Jeez. All right, we got Fire, Porygon, Reboot, Venny, Snob, Slow, 
Crab, Snore. Ooh, and Telly on reverse. Nice. And a Serena. All right, so we got two packs left, man. So far, this ETB is poopy. It's not very good. We only got one, uh, you know, one V hit basically, and the rest have been straight loot. This is a green code. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna waste your guys' time. Ampharos and everything else. So everything else has been a green code, man. We got two white codes. We got a hollow and a Galarian V. A Galarian Moltres V. Excuse me. Boom. All right. So this one should give us something interesting here and the back i saw still had a ding man so let's see let's see what we get here Gibraltar, grookey score bunny man these alternate arts are so nice though man i really hope i get another one a metagross v nice i did need this card so we got a two hit box for the shadow rider i don't know man i think my i think my guy is gonna take it i think my uh my Ice Rider Calyrex pick is gonna is gonna come through for me, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, the 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 pool rates on this have been absolutely horrendous, uh, but it's a nice set nonetheless. It's a nice set. Um, I do appreciate the artwork. I do appreciate um, you know all the hard work that goes into the TCG. I know that there's a lot of people behind the scenes that make all of this happen. Uh, so I do appreciate all of their work, but I will say you know as a consumer, it's very difficult to get behind a product. Blaze can be there we go <laughs> first hit right out the gate uh it's hard to get behind a product that you know is not gonna bode well for you uh you know i, I would much rather spend money on like shining fates where i know i'm gonna get a really good or a really cool looking card at least you know at the very least there's a green code too um <laughs> go lurk and Ampharos. whereas you know chilling rain is a nice set and it has great cards blaze can be max uh alternate art is probably like one of my favorite cards in the set itself, Articuno is like number one for me. And then it's the Blaze again. Another green code. So we got Cabrawler, Cabrawler, and Volcarona. Or like Leon Hart says, ding, 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 Volcarona. All right, anyway, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. So we got a ladybug. Guys, if you have not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, man. Hit that subscribe button. Like the video. Comment down below. Weekly giveaways for every single one of you guys. I really appreciate it. Let's try to get this video to 15 likes. I'm being super generous with that. 15 likes. That's all I'm asking for. Go ahead and hit the like button. It really helps me, uh, you know, down the line. Justify Gloves and a Galarian Slow King V. These are the V-boxes, man. These are the elite V-boxes. So, so far, we're two and two on each of these boxes. So far, it's two versus two. We got Blaziken and Slowking against the Metagross and Moltres. And I will say, I think in a real fight, Blaziken and Slowking might have the edge. Might have the edge only because Slowking... Oh, well, technically it's dark and... Oh, I, I just spoiled it. It's a green code. My bad. All right, let's just run through this one. We got a Venipede and a Scolipede. Hey, look at that. A Whirlipede. There was no Whirlipede in there. It just jumped. Just jumped from a from a thing to a thing. <laughs> so, what do you guys think? Do you guys think Blaziken and Slowking can take on a Moltres and a Metagross? I don't know. I'm going to be honest. All right, another green code. Meh. Heracross and Bennett. All right. So, we got two packs left, guys. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Let's see if we get anything great or if we get anything terrible. I'm okay with either one of the two because I appreciate spending time with you guys here on the channel, Rockruff and Surfetched. And I appreciate everybody taking the time uh, to go ahead and click on this video, watch the entire video. If you did so, I really appreciate it. And if you didn't, I still appreciate it because it helps me a lot. So this one is also unfortunately a green code. Didn't get anything here. Whoops, sorry, I'm not even showing the cards. We got a uh, Crabominable and an Agron, Dark Energy, and the likes. So we only got four V cards out of 16 packs. So that's a one in four chance, basically of getting a hit a v hit anyway no full arts no v maxes no rainbow rares that's just how it goes with this set man but once again everybody thank you so much uh the giveaway item this week is going to be a custom booster pack uh so i will throw a bunch of goodies in a booster pack and send it your way that is going to be the giveaway item for this week i really appreciate everybody clicking on the video go ahead and like the video comment on the video uh you know which is your favorite etb which is your favorite uh out of the ice rider and shadow rider which one is your favorite uh, and that's basically it, guys. That's all you have to do. Consider uh, following me on Instagram as well. I really appreciate that. Uh, if I don't put it here, it is in the link in the description down below. So go ahead and open the description. You're going to see my Instagram um, at name. Always reach out to me on there. I'm always on Instagram checking it, uh, you know, chatting with the community, all that stuff. So thank you once again, and I will see you guys next week. Peace out.